Hi there, welcome to Nepi in there. So I wasn't really intending to do a video on Somnomed. And then I had a look at a chart and the share price right now for this company is at a really interesting level. And because they were operating cash flow positive for the December quarter, I thought, why not do a video, sort of an update to this company? Because I might have only done one or two videos on this company in the past. Sort of company, I'm not that interested in taking a position, but for those who might like the future um, of this company, now would be a good time to think about adding or taking an initial position in this company. Now, Somnomed will always have a place in my heart because in about 2013 or 14, I did research on this company and ProMedicus, and I sort of, sort of lumped these two companies together back then because they had a very similar uh, market cap and because they were small cap uh, health companies, I've always equated these two companies together. Now, unfortunately, I did not take a position in either company at that point in time. And you could say that was a mistake because ProMedicus Markup has gone from less than $100 million to about $7 billion right now. So those two or these two companies are vastly different right now. You can't compare ProMedicus to Somnomed because ProMedicus has made it and Somnomed has yet to make it. They've yet to prove to me that their business model works. And that's probably is quite evident when you look at the chart. So let's have a look at the chart, the long-term chart, which gave me the idea to do a video on Somnomed. So this is the long-term chart for the company going back to 2014, just after I did that research on Somnomed and ProMedicus. Have a look at the ProMedicus chart from 2013 or 14, and it's completely different than this chart. In fact, the share price for Somnomed has gone down from that time. And the low for Somnomed is around $1. $1 was reached back in the COVID-19 financial panic back in March through to April of that year. The share price did fall below $1 for a brief period of time in that period. And right now, the share price of Somnomed is just above this fairly strong support level, right at $1.03. Now, I am recording this video on Sunday, March 26th. Intending to release this video on a Tuesday, the 28th of March, because I have been called in to do an emergency shift at work on the Monday. So I thought I'd record this video a day earlier. I tend to record videos a day before I release um, those videos. So really interesting chart in terms of where the share price is right now. So if you do like this company, uh, in terms of valuation, there has not been a more attractive time to take a position in this company during the past almost 10 years, we'll say nine or eight years, um, apart from during the COVID-19 financial panic. Somnomed is in the health sector. They deal with the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA for short. They do have quite a few products. I just went to the website. They have Somnodent, some Morning Repositioner, Somnobrux, and Somatab. So a lot going on here with Somnomed. And they listed on the ASX almost 20 years ago, August 2004. So they have been around for a while. And I first took notice to this company about 2013 and 14. We'll have a look at actually their receipts history over the past 10 years. And you'll see I have been following this company for a long time, but not as long as they've been a listed company on the ASX. Now, a slight red flag when it comes to the CEO. Now, the only reason it's a red flag is because of his holding in this company. Only 0.25%. That's Neil Vidal Austin. So there are quite a few investors out there, particularly those who are interested in the small cap space who are looking for founder-led companies and usually when you do have a founder-led company there's going to be significant skin in the game when i say skin in the game i'm meaning those founders will have a significant position in the company and the reason they are looking for founder-led companies with those managers having or founders having large skin in the game or large holdings in the company is, is because more than likely that means their interests are aligned with the shareholders' interests. So they want the company to grow. Now, that does not mean Neil Vidal Austin doesn't want Somnomed to grow, but he only has 0.25% holding in his company. So I would prefer that to be a little bit higher. So he has more of a motivation to grow this company. Now, one of the largest shareholders, if not the largest shareholder 
in this company is Australian Ethical Investment. They have a 12.3% stake in the company. So if you are ethically or more inclined to invest in ethically good companies, uh, maybe Somnomed is a sort of company for you. Shares on issue, not too high, only 83 million. I don't think that's been growing all that much, if at all. And because they only have $83 million and the share price is just above $1, uh, that means the market cap of this company is around 86 million. So remember, when I first did research on this company, alongside ProMedicus, both those companies had a market cap just below $100 million. Now, ProMedicus market cap is $7 billion, while Somnomed is almost the same market cap as about 10 years ago. And the ticker for this company is S-O-M. Could it be anything else? Though I did mention earlier that the main motivation for me during this video on Somnomed today was the chart and where the share price is right now relative to the last 10 years. And it does look interesting. One of the reasons I actually did have a look at the chart was because I had a look at also their December quarter results. And the December quarter results were a little bit interesting in terms of the very fact that this company was operating cash flow positive by 1.2 million. But be warned, if you look at the year to date, this first six months of the financial year, they were of or are operating cash flow negative by 4.4 million, which means in the September quarter, they were operating cash flow negative by $5.5 million. So we don't see any reason to get interested in this company right now because they've gone from being highly operating cash flow negative in the September quarter to being operating cash flow positive by a slight amount in the December quarter. And who knows what's going to happen in the March quarter. They could be again highly operating cash flow negative. I need to see Stein's signs that they can be operating cash flow positive on a continual basis. That's the next step I need to see from Somnomed. Now, another red flag, in my opinion, around this company is their debt. They have $17.6 million of debt. Now, you could argue they also have $16.8 million of cash. So they are almost debt free if you take into account that debt. But one of the ways or reasons they increased their cash on hand during this quarter was actually increase their debt as well. So I do prefer companies to be debt free. And when I say debt free, I'm talking about these small cap companies because debt is probably the main reason a lot of these small cap companies eventually or might go broke. So you have to be aware of any small cap companies that have too much debt on their books. So that's why I prefer these type of companies to have as minimal debt as possible and preferably no debt at all. Now to the receipts history for Somnomed. And we're talking about exactly 10 years of history. The first time I took notice to Somnomed was in the March quarter of 2013. So we're talking about exactly 10 years of history here. And the main thing we're looking for, or I'm looking for when it comes to receipts or revenue is I want to see a growth pattern. I want to see, re want to see receipts or revenue growing through time. And we definitely have that for Somnomed. Now there have been periods of time where we have seen receipts drop, particularly in 2020. And that's understandable because that was COVID-19. and uh, other than that, on occasion, we do see receipts drop from the previous quarter. But the main thing here to take into account is that receipts have grown from $3.7 million in the March quarter 2013 to $21.2 million in the most recent quarter. And that most recent quarter was a record quarter in terms of receipts for this company. So this company is still growing, but I need to see some scale. I need to see that they can turn this growth into receipts into a profitable operating cash flow and free cash flow positive company. And we haven't seen signs yet that they can do that on a consistent basis. That is why the market is not that interested in this company just yet, even though they have proven that they can grow the business in terms of receipts, in terms of revenue. So we end this video, just look at the daily chart here. And this goes back to, uh, what's the month before August, July? 2021 share price in uh, October or November 2021 reached two dollars and about 65 cents and the share price has been falling ever since then and the share price has reached that uh, support level at one dollar in fact it reached it a few weeks ago hit one dollar and then we saw a nice little bounce but be warned that the shares in this company are illiquidly traded and they're becoming more and more illiquidly traded, which is telling us the market is becoming less and less interested in this company. You can just see the lack of interest in this company just by the chart, just by the candlesticks over the past almost one year, and also the lack of volume. 
The last time we saw a peak in volume or a spike in volume was back in August last year on one day. And other than that, volume is really light when it comes to this company. And that's another reason why the shares are just, you know, moving very gradually lower because there's a little bit more supply than demand. So we need to see uh, a reason why the market will get interested in this company. And the best way the market can get interested or will get interested in this company if they become consistently operating cash flow, free cash flow and profitable, I should say, operating cash flow positive, free cash flow positive and profitable on a consistent basis. If the company and the management can show that, the share price will absolutely take off from here and you'll see massive increase in volume. But until then, who knows where the share price is going to go from here? It could go significantly below $1 because there's just no interest in this company at this point in time. And that's all I have for this update to Somnomed. The only reason I did a video on this company right now is because of where the share price is in relation to its history. And the reason I had a little bit of chart was because of their pretty good December quarter. Now I need to see a pretty good March quarter, probably a pretty good July quarter as well. And if we get three really good quarters in a row, then the market might start becoming interested in this company and the share price could be significantly higher than $1. If you have any thoughts, any questions about Somnomed, maybe you use some of Somnomed's products. I'd love to hear from you. So leave anything you have to say in this comment section of this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.